You're absolutely sure about this weekend, love? I'd love to go, but I can't. I mean, you're definitely working right through. Peter, you've seen the rota. I wouldn't see much of you even if you stayed. I know, love, but you know, it's such a pretty race course, Chep, so it's just a shame that we can't both enjoy it. Well, we will one day. Anyway, with me not around, I won't cramp your style. <laughs> what style? Well, you want to network. No telling what you might get up to. Well, OK, look, I mean, if you're sure, love. I am. Mwah. See you later. See ya. You're still chasing them elusive winners then, Vic? I did all right last night. What, the dog trek? <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah, well, I lost a bit to start with and then I uh, won it all back. Yeah, pull the other one. And what would you know? You weren't there. I saw every race. I didn't notice you. Well, that's because I wasn't chasing the hair, was I? I did all right. Hey, Vic. Um, I'll still go out with you if you want. <laughs> what? Well, I know you've let me down and everything, but I'll accept an apology. Oh, is that right now? Yeah. I mean, never mind what Fizz and Toya said. I'm not busy tonight. In fact, I can do anything I like. Hmm. Wash your hair. Hi, Lucy, it's me. Yeah, hey, listen, uh, the hotel's booked and everything. I'll tell you what, for the price they charge, it should be lovely. Well, yeah, yeah, so am I. Yeah, OK. Bye. Well, it's not your day, is it, Vic? It will be. No, it won't. You had your warning. That was your final bet. I've got runners in the next three races. No, you don't. Not in here. Not unless you pay me what you owe me. You'll get your money. Well, good, because I want it now. All right, all right, all right. Moaning, moaning, moaning. How much do I owe you? A few hundred. You owe me two grand. What? You were told. You were well over your credit limit. I've been carrying you for weeks. That's it, Vic. Enough is enough. <coughs> and how am I supposed to win it back if you won't take me bets? Well, I don't care. I want that money. You find another way to play it. Oh, and you can forget all the other local bookies. They won't take your bets. They've got your number. <laughs> You've been spreading rumours, have you? No, I haven't. I didn't need to. They know you're a loser. They know to steer clear of you. You've got it in for me. Listen, <laughs> I want that money, and I want it fast. So you get it sorted, all right? Right, I'm just going to nip out, Sally. I'll be back about three, OK? Right, OK. Fowler's bookmakers, can I help you? Uh, I'm sorry, you've just missed him. Can I help? Oh, I see. Is, uh, is that all the information you need? All right, I'll get him to ring you as soon as he comes back. So, what's that, the Blackthorn Hotel? Chepstow. Oh, Shelley, just the person I want. Me? Yeah, the Blackthorn Hotel rang. I can't get in touch with Peter. His mobile's switched off and he's not going to be back till three. Oh, right, um... They wanted to know if you required dinner on Friday night. Oh, well, if I know Peter, he'll make do with a bag of crisps and a few jars. <laughs> Is he taking you away? No, he's got a race meeting in Chepstow. Aren't you going with him? Uh, got to work. Oh. What do you mean, oh? Well, it's just that the hotel thought the room was for two. He said the restaurant's fully booked, because if you don't want the table, they're going to give it to somebody else. Sounds as though you're going to be missing out on a good do. Yeah, can't be helped, eh? Well, you better phone them, Shell, and sort it out. Yeah, I will. Peter's gone to a lot of trouble. He's going to be so disappointed when he finds out you're working. Are you sure he made the booking last night? He asked for the best available double. Oh, well, in that case, there must be some sort of mix-up, because I'm Mr Barlow's partner and I won't be accompanying him. And no, there's no-one else. Oh, he did ask me to come, but, um... Anyway, um, he'll ring you later and sort this out himself. Yeah, later this afternoon. OK, yeah, thanks, bye. He must have booked the hotel before he asked you. He didn't. I know that for sure. Well, you wouldn't want a double room if you knew you weren't coming. He would if he was going with somebody else. He would never do that, Shell. He's crazy about you. The receptionist kept saying, Mr Barlow and partner. Do you trust him, Shell? Yeah. Of course I do. Well, then ask him outright. If he's made a mistake, he'll tell you. And if he's lying, you're best off knowing. I can't face it. Well, look what happened last time you kept things to yourself. Hear him. Yeah. 